jazz musicians. There's still very few, but there were only like one or two. And um, these people said, it doesn't matter what your gender is, what matters is what the music is and how it comes from your heart. Um, I write symphonically as well as uh, writing jazz. I write pop music. I worked with the NSYNC Backstreet Boys in Orlando. And then in Miami, I worked with the, uh, the Ricky Martin group. Um, and so I've just had a, a great deal of fun touring. But I did get a wake-up call on life. Um, I, I almost lost my life actually three times now. And, I had a severe accident in 1989, and that caused me to uh, lose, had severe brain damage. I lost my sight. I'm actually legally blind. Um, I was in a wheelchair for 12 years. I was in bed for three years. Uh, I had to learn how to eat again, to touch my nose again, how to be able to put sentences together. I'd forgotten my name and where I came from. Wow. And because I had didn't have health insurance. I was in that classic position that so many people are unfortunately in, and I lost everything. Uh, all of my savings, all of my possessions, everything disappeared into the hospital, and I still ended up owing hundreds of thousands of dollars. So um, I, I wow. fell into the, uh, to the governmental systems, and they have kept me alive through this whole thing, that and the, the spirit to keep going. What caused the accident? I mean, what kind of accident I was, was in it? A, I was driving to, to, to play a gig uh, in oh. Miami, and um, a truck uh, lost control and, and hit, hit my car and really, really did the damage. Um, like I said, it, it kept me in bed for three years and in a wheelchair for 12, and even, even now I still have difficulties. So um, I keep climbing up, keep getting knocked down, and then I had another accident after I got started, and I had a record, uh, actually I had two record um, labels that I was going to be recording with. One was Cadence, the other was Jive Records, and um, I had to cancel, Bob Weinstock was, was my producer, and I had to cancel all of those because I had a, a secondary accident, and that paralyzed my left hand. So I had to go all the way back down and start redoing physical therapy for the second time and got back up and began to perform again. And um, What keeps you going? What keeps me going? <laughs> what keeps me going is, is, is that I'm deeply spiritual. Um, I, I see the world as so much more than just the physical aspects that we have. There is so much power and beauty and love that comes in music, and that's what keeps me going more than anything. And the wanting to, to share, I was given gifts. They were definitely gifts in music, and I feel like I have a responsibility to share that with, with everybody. I think what's so good about Nina, she wants to throw kisses out after every show, and I thought that was really good. She actually came on the set with these big lips, the last three.